This is our lock Met 30 plus three frequency metal detector here on the floor in the showroom at Allard Equipment Company, brand new. Uh, it's our reference number Y1632. We're test running it on sugar. And we have some 50 pound bags of sugar here, which uh, started to leak when we were carrying them around from one end of the conveyor or the other to uh, phase the product and do the automatic product learn. So we put it in a little plastic tub. So we're going to uh, just run this through with uh, wands and see what we got. All right, the first thing we're going to do is just run the sugar through with no contamination to show that it goes through without uh, detecting anything, without any false reject. And as you can see, it uh, didn't read anything. There's a display here and as you'll see in a second when it does detect something that display will move and by the way it will detect your hand if you put it in there which is why you saw it warble a little bit all right we're gonna put one and a half millimeter ferrous And we pulled the buzzer out because it was blowing our ears out, but as you can see, the light is flashing, it detected, and you saw the display jump and the conveyor stop. So we have a detection on the 1.5 millimeter ferrous sample test strip. Next, we are going to test, let's see if I get this in focus, a 2 millimeter non-ferrous test strip. So we will put that in and as you can see uh, the display jumped and the red beacon light is flashing and the conveyor stops so we have a detection on two millimeter non-ferrous now we are going to test the sample with two millimeter stainless steel so we're going to set the sample on the bag and run it through. So we get a two millimeter uh, stainless steel, got a detection. Again, you can see the light, the beacon light is flashing, the conveyor stopped. You probably, if this picture is sharp enough, could see the display jump. So we have, what was it, one and a half millimeter ferrous, two millimeter non ferrous and two millimeter stainless steel. That is the sensitivity that we've uh, established on this product which is 50 pound bags of dry sugar.